WCCO's Mary L. Mose joins us now from Uptown, where friends and family are holding a vigil for Smith. L. Amelia, that vigil is still taking place on the rooftop of the parking ramp where that fatal shooting happened yesterday afternoon. But there's about 75 people on the rooftop of that parking ramp, but there's also about 30 to 40 people in the street. You can see they use their personal cars to close off Lake and Girard for the second night in a row. And there's a group gathering in the middle of the intersection. But earlier today, before this vigil started, just after 8 o'clock, the family of Winston Smith was outside the BCA building in St. Paul demanding transparency from the lead investigator on this shooting. We're asking for video footage, just solid evidence. Activist groups stood in solidarity with the family of Winston Smith outside the Bureau of Criminal Apprehension building in St. Paul on Friday afternoon. They are demanding the BCA release any video footage of the shooting to the public and the Smith family. And we refuse to believe that no one has video footage after all of those different departments showed up yesterday. So we want transparency and we demand it now. So while police were out here earlier in the daylight, at this point it's just protesters in the intersection of Lake and Girard. It's closed off and we, know, we do not know where police are at this moment, but they're not in the immediate area of this intersection. All right, thank you, Al. We do know that extra officers are trying to keep the uptown area safe following the looting and fires last night. Vandals smashed store windows, looted businesses, and set a dumpster on fire after the shooting. Police say they arrested nine people for rioting, assault, and arson. As store owners cleaned up today, neighbors worried that any more unrest could keep customers and families away. It's going to make people wary of staying here as business people and living here and people are going to want to leave and not bother with it anymore. Police say they did not catch many of the vandals involved in last night's unrest. Last summer's rioting caused more than $550 million in damage to businesses. Stay with WCCO4 News this weekend for continuing coverage of the Winston Smith shooting.